Okay, welcome, welcome. Starting the day here. We are, well, I am going to change the brake pads on a 2016 Honda Pilot. That's the goal. The first one will probably take way longer than it should for a true mechanic, but then the next one will go quick. So I've already loosened the lug nuts. So I loosened, pre-loosened the lug nuts. I got the jack just barely in place. I've got the, uh, the tire there braced on both sides. I'm gonna lift it up, put the uh, stand, put the stand in underneath to secure it, back it up, and then we'll take the tire off. Okay, <laughs> so the lug nuts were way, it didn't take as much torque to get them off as I think it should have, but we got the tire, got the lug nuts off. Oh, should I raise it high enough? Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so now, here's the brakes. The, we had them checked and they're getting really low. So now we have to undo the bolts in the back here. We've got some bolts to undo. So the caliper will come up and we'll get the caliper up and then we'll play with some clips. And we'll get it going. Oh, oh, let's turn that off. Okay, so we got the tire off. My buddy loaned me some tools, a little torque wrench. I've got another tool for the caliper spreading. Uh, the right tools make a big difference. So we're gonna get the two bolts off and then that will allow us to move, remove the caliper. All right, so in my little metric, so it's 11 sixteenths or 17 millimeters. Well, I don't think that's the exact conversion. Anyways, 11 sixteenths to remove the back bolts and take them off and drop down the caliper. Hopefully I can show you that. All right, so now we are going to take off the bolts right here hopefully you can see them bolts here there's two of them one here one below um, 19 millimeter 19 millimeter stick them off so let's do that so we got the um, caliper bolts undone now we need to wiggle this off I want to set it down somewhere oh, I need a higher a higher thing here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a higher bucket so I can rest it and get access to it. But um, we'll now look at taking out the pads. Okay, so we rested the caliper up here. You can see they're really thin. I've got a special tool for my buddy, my good friend Shane. I'm gonna open those up, but first we need to pop the hood. So you come to the hood and there's a little lever, pop it up. We take this little thing, put up there, like so, and then we come over to the brake reservoir, and we're going to open it up just so. I'm going to leave the lid on, but loose, because we need air and everything, so it can equalize. The fluid could come up and boil over, hopefully not. It'll rise up some as we play around with the calipers, but you want to take that off just to allow the system to open up and we'll get the tension back in there later, the pressure back in later. I can't hold and do everything at the same time, so this little thing just pops out. On this side, we've got these little clips. We will keep those, but these little clips are gonna come out. We'll save these clips here, because they're gonna go back in later, but um, we just need to pull this pad out. Let me, nope, okay, take that pad out. And then we're going to and compress this one back so that we can pop it off. Let's see if I can get some more light in there. All right, we got the caliper out, got the caliper off. Now, with a screwdriver, we can pop out the pad. I'm gonna take this one out first. And they got those little spring things. Let's take those out too. Whoa. That one's getting thin, look at that. Getting thin. Oh, this one's, oh yeah, there we go, okay. All right, so now we're gonna use a special tool and we're gonna push this back. It takes a little effort to wedge this thing down in there, but then this thing is gonna ratchet and spread it out, push these calipers back. Um, 
if you can see you can take these little calipers and squish them back okay so I have this nifty little tool in here and what we're going to do is use it to expand and push these calipers back push them back here um, yeah I'm just gonna have to do it can't hold it up but you're pushing these back um, so that you get have more room okay so I use that tool to push it back and now you take this probably get a screwdriver or something you just pull out this other pad here you don't want to mess up any of the little wires but let me just use a screwdriver to pop that out okay so I was able to use a little screwdriver and just kind of pop it out there so there's the open little calipers all right we open the box we've got these little brackets we're going to use here little clips and then we've got the brake pads so let's get them out and show them how they go in okay so you take these little clips and you get them out kind of pop out I have to admit they're if you don't pop out just right they're kind of a pain in the ass to get out but these come out and you've got other ones that'll go in okay I will say putting these brackets in and getting them to slide in there is a quite a pain in the butt uh, on this side Sliding in from this way and then kind of moving it over worked. That one on the far side seems to go a little better, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so then you take the pad, and, and there's a right and a left, I guess you'd say, and you slip it in. See the little slots over there? Slide them into the little respective slots. It just kind of pops in nicely. So then we're going to do the other one here. All right, so I will say dropping them in and getting them into the slots works pretty good. There is the one with the little tabby. Make sure that is... The, the one closest to the caliper. Um, they get them in and we'll go to the next stage. After we've dropped the little uh, brake pads in there, we are going to take our bolts and we're gonna put the rotor back on and reinstall it here. Um, I have seen that some people use Loctite and stuff like that, um, but we're gonna put the caliper back on. All right, next, so we got the caliper back on. Definitely check on the torque specs. I got a lot of different online uh, information about how to torque these bolts back here for the caliper. Um, but next we're gonna do, there's a top bolt here, there's another bolt down here. Loosen this one. We're gonna take this one out. We're gonna drop the caliper back. We don't wanna take it all too far back so that the, uh, ah, the calipers close on us but uh, we do want to drop it back. And then we're gonna take these little pins and put them in. Now, putting in these little brackets and putting in some of these things have been the hardest part. So it seems like the easiest things turn out to be the hardest, but sometimes that's life. So we're gonna take out this bolt, drop this back, and put these pins in. Okay, so we've taken out, we're dropping the caliper back. We don't wanna take it too far back. But there are some tiny little holes. See those little holes? I'm gonna take and set this little uh, wire thing into both sides. I'll show you the end result. Okay, so if you can see, I dropped the little wire thing, a hole over there, a hole right here. Then I'm gonna shut the caliper back up. All right, so we got the little pin, the little wire in the bottom. So now we put the caliper back on. Well, caliper's on, we just get the side bolts. So we got it back in place, put the pins in here, pins in here. Again, there's torque settings for these. There's various things online. So just do your own research because I don't want any liability about what uh, should or shouldn't do it at. So I just went off what I felt was best based on what I researched. But now I'm just gonna put the wheel back on, which if you're even trying this, I know you know how to put on a wheel. So do that now we got to go to the other side um, this is the first time I've done this in like phew, several years so it took a while but hopefully it helps you you know save some money and what the heck what else we got to do on Sunday or Saturday <laughs> good luck um, you can leave comments below help each other out with different settings and different things like that torque uh, tools I will say the little caliper spreader is beautiful and um, having a torque wrench is definitely needed, um, but probably not necessary. But otherwise, good luck and uh, comment, hit the like button and come back for more.